I loved seeing the panda and Mechamaru fight, uh, ending it off with Miwa and Maki about to go at it. I'm just so ready for all the rest of these fights. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, episode 17. This one's called the Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event Group Battle 3. Um, I think the next episode has a different name, so I'm assuming this might be the finale to this little event, which has been fantastic so far, learning more about the students, learning more about Jujutsu Sorcery as a whole, training as well for, for Yuji, making friends, Toto, just all around amazing i'm just loving this entire thing so far animation soundtrack characters ever fights have been fantastic i am actually just excited to see maki miwa and everyone else keep going at it because that whole panda mechamaru last episode was incredible so i say we stop wasting any more time let's jump right on into this real quick though guys if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching like black clover Q, many many more to come in the future uh we do have that patreon links are down below for you guys we are four episodes ahead over there if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell if you guys are not subscribed so you guys always know exactly when i post over here on the dapper channel all that jazz don't forget we have a po box now if you guys ever want to send me any letters fan mail art anything like that anything and everything is much appreciated don't forget to follow the social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius let's hop right on into this jujutsu kaisen uh, episode 17 kyoto sister school exchange event group battle 3 let's do this was me asking for advice on how to deal with her we do know she doesn't have any cursed energy. She has to use tools. But weapon specialists are always amazing to me. So that's why she went into it thinking that Maki's... Okay, okay. My girl, Maki. She's only a... She's nasty. <laughs> she is so nasty. There are so many people who've commented that Maki is their waifu and she's the ultimate waifu of the show. I can't wait to see why. Oh my god. That cursed weapon though looks so cool. New shadow style, simple domain. That's like her N. I do love that. She's able to cut down. Yup, it's exactly like N. I love it. Especially on sword, sword users. So she's on full reflex mode, so it automatically... Now she doesn't have her. Oh my goodness. I am flabbergasted. Ooh, the crow is like a camera? That's crazy. So she's the camera. That's her curse power? Okay. Okay, so I'm getting what's going on. I'm, I'm getting a lot of new information, so I'm kind of slow to process this, but the cameras around Yuji keep cutting out. She's making excuses. Oh, their animals are so fickle, but it's because Gaku Ganji, whatever the fucking, whatever his name is, paid her off because she's the window. I, I say window, window is an actual no, another term. She's the monitor to the, what's going on. He paid her off to cut the cameras off, so when his school kills Yuji, obviously Gojo and everyone doesn't see it, so it's just all around. But I'm just, I had to process that for myself, so that's why I'm telling you guys. I know you guys know, you guys are always on top of it. You should know what he's planning, but I love his faith, I love his faith in Yuji. Oh, that's cool. So you know who's doing what, you can tell who's okay. I see. What's her name? Momo, right? She's not wrong. She's all about the kawaii. And she's not wrong. 
She's definitely not wrong. Women probably do have it rough in this world. In this jujutsu world. That's a good way to put it. Oh, her movement is nuts. She has such great control over the wind and shit. So she can't put full focus on her wind blast because of her constant worry about Inumaki. I like it. Makes a lot of sense. Why does she keep saying what's demanded of Mai? Yes, please give me info about that. Please. Hereditary technique. Any who don't meet the demands. Yep, that's like Maki. So a very perfect perfection-based family that happens a lot. That's facts. People do tend to do that, think that. Ooh, yep. That relates to Nobara. Fuck yeah. Tell her, Nobara. Who endured the same upbringing and is not as bitchy. Shouts out to Maki. Shouts out Nobara. That's my girl. Straw hairpin. What are they, like, landmines of cursed energy? This animation is fucking insane. The 3D models, the cinematography, and everything. Oh. And now she's getting some air, some lift. Close that distance. Ooh, she got one, though. Nope. I think as, soon, as long as she gets one, right? She Maybe she can do something. Aw, shouts out Nobara. Hell yeah. That's all that matters is you love yourself. That's my girl. So, play it safe. <laughs> a squeaky hammer? What is this, whack-a-mole? I love the sound effect. Makes me feel like I'm playing Smash Bros. Ooh. That was my, with a bullet. That was a snipe, I won't lie. That was a good shot. I think she's a wonderful woman. It's a very safe answer. I like that. <laughs> I love Yuji's answer. How it goes, they don't want to admit they're fools, you know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> she was thinking about that. She was thinking about her friends. She's using me... She's using Miwa's sword, which is amazing, first off. But she's like fucking Deadpool. She can cut a bullet in two. Oh my god. So the curses that she's scared of that Maki can't see. That would be, as a kid though, I'd be fucking terrifying. I'd be horrified of that. Aww. Always respect people like that. Who just, no matter the shit hand that are dealt to them, they plow forward. Oh, he looks badass, so I won't lie. Always looking out for her sister. And Maya's listening, of course. So she, hmm. Damn. 
Damn, this is this is a lot deeper, like emotionally, than I was would was assuming it would be. Like, my obviously has this resentment towards Maki for being stronger than she is innately, even though technically she's weaker because she can't even use any curse energy or see curses whatsoever. But she has the strength and the bravery to push through that, and so she says she hates Maki for that, but truthfully super insecure and a little bit resents herself because she's not strong enough and then also appreciates her sister and knows she has the strength and then maki obviously appreciates mai and tries to look out for her. it's just it's siblings and family relationships i really enjoy when they're dealt with well like my hero deals with it very well with a certain character you know what i'm talking about but this is this is very complicated and complex and i'm, I'm loving it because i have a very complex family as well oh i love that first person shot i love that look how to be able to avoid these bullets she must be so quick oh my god oh that was the sick shot She's like, Yao Yorozu from My Hero. Man, uh, yep. That's it. So she can actually materialize bullets. But she can't do it a lot, and it's very small. Heavy strain on That's why her nose is bleeding. One bullet? That's how strong construction is. Whole. An obvious bluff instead of like a magazine type pistol. Genius. And she's crying when she does it. I am flabbergasted at this fucking show, bro. <laughs> Use the dull sword. Superhuman physical abilities, but no curse techniques or energy. That's why she's so good. Hmm. Yeah, that's another tough thing, man. You have to look out for your sister, but at the end of the day, you also have to look out for yourself as well, you know? She would have hated herself if she was forced to live that kind of life, you know? But this happens a lot of the times in situations where an older siblings leave, the younger will be definitely treated worse, or that resentment towards the older one. I wouldn't... Oh. Oh, that's a rough one, man. Retired. Nobara and my <laughs> This fucking show, man. So exactly what I was thinking, man. It focused more on these individual fights. Uh, well, obviously we got a lot more lore, a lot more knowledge that I'm just loving, but focused a lot more on our individual characters, which I'm down. I'm loving it so much. Um, I do really enjoy the relatability that uh, with when Momo was fighting Nobara, her trying to give excuses. I, I love her reasoning for women though, and how it, it kind of stems from Mai and Maki. Um, how if you're strong but not cute, you're you're still gonna be looked down upon. But if you're cute and not strong, you're gonna be looked down upon. So you have to be literally perfect in order to be actually be even on a level playing field as the ma male Jujutsu sorcerers. Which understandable. It's it's. It's not, I mean, obviously it's life and death for them. It's not for us, but it's kind of similar to, to video games for girls. I know e-girls have it rough out there sometimes. If you're a, if you're an e-girl and you're cute, but you're horrible at games, you're going to get roasted. If you're good at games and you're not cute, you're going to get roasted. So I kind of, it's, 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 it's a hard life out here for some of our women. I definitely agree. But I like 
Nobara's response to that saying, just because you've had it rough doesn't give you a free pass to be rude to anyone. Like, and then that related to Sayori where they were all talking shit behind her back and oh, and then she was like, fuck all that. And then she used her technique, which I thought was super cool with the nails and then the hairpin and then everything got rid of her broom, which I thought was awesome. But then she got shot by Mai who came in clutch and then Mai's fight, oh my God, Maki versus Miwa, insane. Maki versus Mai, insane. Maki, insane. I completely understand why you guys think so. Uh, it was sort of like a heavenly pact, it said, where uh, kind of similar to Mechamaru, where she was born without curse energy or uh, the ability to see curses, but she was given superhuman physical powers, whereas Mechamaru was the exact opposite. He was giving no physical powers whatsoever, but the ability to use curse power and curse techniques from over vast distances. Very interesting look, but I do definitely understand the bloodline the zenin clan not acknowledging her and then like resenting her and if you're not so from what i could tell i obviously don't know the details from what i could tell if you're not in the elites of the family i don't know if it's just the head or if there's like an elite squad of the family but if you're not in the elites you're a servant you're like day-to-day -day house chores just serving the main family very similar to the hugas in naruto if you're not member of the elite branch, then you are a member of the, the sub branch and you must serve the elite branch. I don't know how I didn't think of that. It's, it's very similar to that, but I'm, oh, it's, it leads for very interesting dynamics. I love Maki's resolve to, to come back as the head of the, to the clan and to change it from the inside. But the guy who she was talking to looks like a fucking dickhead old man. There's a lot of dickhead old men in anime, but he looks a lot of the times the dickhead old men are super strong. So they have like, that's how they became dickheads, you know? So it's like, I don't know. I want to see him fight too. I won't lie. Um, what else? Do we have anything else crazy this episode? Sometimes I just like stroll, uh, I scroll through that little timeline to see if we saw anything else. I'm, I think we have a couple of questions from the Discord, so I'm definitely, I'm not going to get into Maki and Mai's relationship because I could talk about that for an hour. I just think they're handling it and it's being done very, very well in the show. The animation, cinematography in the show, fantastic as always. So, we do have a question here on the on the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have on the Discord we have a Q and A section where you guys can ask me anything, and I'll answer it relatively soon in the next upcoming episodes. This one is from Ivan. Thank you for the question, Ivan. He says, as stated in the anime, when Sakuna's cursed techniques are engraved into Itadori's body, do you think he will be as strong or stronger than Sakuna, or will he make his own style using Sakuna's cursed techniques? Great question. That's one of the interesting things that I think this show is very similar to Naruto in, but also very different. Like, from even early on, you could see Naruto having the possibility of intertwining their powers and making him stronger. Now, don't get me wrong, Yuji is most definitely stronger thanks to Sukuna, and that gives him an edge in certain abilities, but there's a reason why he hasn't brought Sukuna out since that one fight, since the Cursed Womb, because Sukuna is fucking crazy. So it's like, do I, do, hmm, that's a good question. Do I think he'll be strong or stronger than Sukuna? I think he will be, but I don't think it's going to be based off Sukuna. I think it is going to be his own. I think he's going to get help and be guided along with the help of Sukuna. But I think, I feel, I still think they're going to be, he's going to be an antagonist. I don't actually, that's what, probably the biggest thing I'm curious about this show, how they're going to handle that. Cause I don't get me wrong. I love Kurama and how they handled Naruto, but this is vastly different. I'm very curious. So thank you for your question, Ivan. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like always, if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out the Patreon. Links are down below. Four episodes ahead, you guys. Other than that, I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, you guys.